All right, folks, welcome back to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. Let's do the tune, Your Cheatin' Heart by Hank Williams. We're just gonna be a simple version of the vocal melody on the fiddle, all right? And this lesson is part of a, a larger series of lessons on how to play on songs. What the heck do you do as a fiddler on songs? And so um, we're gonna learn the simple melody, but keep in mind that this melody could be used as a fill, or like something you do to fill in the gaps is what that means. It's kind of like call and response. So say Hank is singing, Your cheating heart will tell on you. You'll cry and cry, and so on. So just learning, the act of simply learning this melody and listening to the tune will, will get you sort of thinking about how to play fills on songs, all right? Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about that. There'll be, there's a series of lessons on sort of like ideas on how to play on songs. This lesson is centered more on just how to play this particular melody. And it's a good, good video for beginners. It's not that complicated of a tune, all right? So, um, so I'm just gonna play the whole thing it's in the key of G, so you can warm up with your G scale. And then um, if you're new to Fiddlehead, all left hand fingerings are in the comments field below. So here we go. I'm just going to play it. So on, and then it goes back to the main part of the tune. All right, so I like to think of it, there's an A part and a B part. Let's just, start, just like a regular fiddle tune, we're gonna start with the uh, first quarter of the A part. That's gonna start D3, going to A low two. Then to open A and then D3-1. There's that again. So if you get this little bit, it sort of unlocks a lot of the tune. So let's loop on this little bit right now. Another thing you can do that's very useful is you can sing it, then play it. Sing it, then play it. It'll really help you remember it and it'll help you get it in the first place too. Your cheating heart. Your cheating heart. So you could do that a whole bunch, and you could do that with each part of the tune. All right, so let's move on and learn the second quarter. So it's D3 to A, back to D3. And then D low two. We'll tell on you. All right, let's put together the first and second quarter. Your cheating heart will tell on you. So there's big, long gaps between each part on this tune. 
And if you listen to the Hank Williams version, there's, there's fills happen. That means there's other instruments like the pedal steel or guitar or fiddle that jump in and play things in those spaces. I'm gonna just gonna kind of count through it. One, two, three. All right. So maybe what I'll do is we'll learn the third quarter and the fourth quarter. Then we'll play the whole thing and I'll count through the, the kind of pauses so you can see the lengths and you can kind of count with me, kind of get it that way. So here's the third quarter of the A part. So that's A low two, three times in a row, and then one. All right, and now the fourth quarter, there's two versions, the first ending and the second ending. So the first ending is gonna be this. And that's D3, open A, then D1, three. So we have. Okay, so. I'm just gonna play the entire tune up through the fourth quarter first ending and count, count it. Okay, here we go. Alright, so um, hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, just pause the video, rewind, watch it again, and I think it will uh, eventually make sense. And you also listen to the original. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the fourth quarter, but the second ending to that. So that's D3 to A, but now G2, 3. So, I'm now gonna do the entire second time through the A going to the um, second ending, all right? B part. All right, so let's just move on and do the B part again. If anything is uh, unclear, if you don't quite, if you're not able to do it, I just did. Just practice each individual part. Rewind. Practice that right now. Okay, let's do the first quarter of the B part now. So relatively easy, all just A low two, four, four times on A low two. Now let's do the second quarter. All right, so that's just three times on A low two. Then open A, D three. When Hank Williams, I kind of simplify it there uh, on the, version Hank Williams does, the open A gets kind of played really quickly, kind of swallowed. Alright, but I just felt like for more beginner fiddlers, it'll make more sense to do it more clearly and slowly. Alright, third quarter of the B part is exactly the same as the first. And now I'll do show you the fourth quarter of the B part. Open A, one, low two, one. All right. So now I'm just gonna play the entire B part and kind of count through the breaks. Four, one. 
and so on. All right, now I think we have all of that. Again, if anything is unclear, you can pause, practice individual parts now. I'm just gonna play the entire song with counting through it just to make 100% sure that sort of the timing makes sense to you. It, in terms of fingering, it's not that difficult of a tune. I think the hard thing is, especially for fiddlers, is counting through those gaps. It makes intuitive sense if there's a vocal, but less sense just kind of playing it as a tune. All right, you know, in fiddle tunes, you're playing the whole time. In a song, you know, there's bigger gaps sometimes for the breath, and so um, it's a little more challenging. So here we go. Um, one, two, three, four, one. Second ending, and that's the song. I forgot to mention that. So the form is A, A, B, and then a last A. And on that final A, you use the second ending. Okay, hopefully that all makes sense. Also go and listen to the version by Hank Williams. Um, and uh, that was a fun lesson for me. Hope it was for you too. And stay tuned for more lessons on how to play on songs, what the heck to do if you have to just play along to somebody playing some song on guitar or whatever, and uh, figuring this out as I go along. So your feedback is welcome. All right, see you next time. Thanks for watching the video club. Excellent.